Greetings to everyone on the channel. We continue to publish videos with repair or hybrid cars by engines. Tesla has made many videos with Mercedes Electric Drive and Toyota RAV4 EVI. Therefore, I did not plan to do them further, but I decided to do this because this has not yet been encountered and I think that you will also be interested. The problem that the owner voiced is that the car could not move smoothly in the cold. And he moved with some completely unpredictable jerks with which it was scary to leave the parking lot next to cars. But after warming up everything was fine. At the same time, there were no extraneous noises, the computer diagnostics did not show any The one where you press the gas. It closes this Mercedes B-Class electric drive. If at a low speed, it begins to close. And as the owner said, until it warms up. Here she is driving a taxi without lowering the power, there is nothing, there were mistakes. There were a lot of mistakes we have now removed, and the errors were about the drop in insulation resistance. It is possible that the inverter motor already has antifreeze, and it does its wet work. Which leads to the fact that the phase boards begin to stop working. But this is still our guess, but now now we need to drive cars to watch the encoder. If there is antifreeze on it, and you may have to remove the motor and disassemble the inverter, this is often what you do. You threw the brake. I threw it all away like this. It's closing up like this. It can move smoothly. And if you press the gas pedal and the halage harder, the gas pedal normally goes only at low speeds. It begins to enter incorrectly. If you have any guesses or assumptions, then write in the comments so that it could be yes, but here's what happens on neutral. We have wheels that do not turn in one direction, only due to the differential in different directions. But it is simply impossible to turn two wheels forward and the car rolls as if this car is with it. On the transmission to one that is with such jerks as if the pistons are turning in general, even on a fully released car, the power is completely disconnected, the inverter is completely denergized. The following is as if the compression in the internal combustion engine turns the engine and the car does not want to go with us. And this one. So the encoder was removed. There is water here, there is antifreeze, throws up so with what? We have a problem, maybe we have a problem with the gearbox. This is as an option. Now we need to open the gearbox plug and drain the oil to see what's there, just in case we have already taken the output tires. Despite the fact that this is an asynchronous motor, we evaluated the inverter tires from the winding, just in case already, and still our wheels do not turn. They don't turn around, the wheels are wedged. At the same time, the oil was drained from a little bit of the gearbox. There are no chips of any obvious that in the gearbox. Some kind of problem too, we don't see, but the fact remains. We do not turn the motor, so it is more likely that we have some kind of problem with the bearings on the electric motor. Because of this, it turns very tight when there are already large revolutions, it rotates. It is not in revolutions. Therefore, at the bottom of the air and shorter. In any case, it is necessary to remove the motor and disassembly. We proceed to the disassembly of this electric motor. This is Mercedes remind us. We had problems. The car at a low speed on the cold did not want to go evenly. It goes like jerks at the same time, as if some kind of blocking oil with the engine and drained absolutely pure oil. The original one is filled with no fay, 
and the transmission one is the one that is recommended in Mercedes. It's so slightly yellowish and with a characteristic transmission oil. The smell in general. Now we will start its chips and oil. By the way, there is no oil at all absolutely pure. Therefore, we will start with the disassembly of the electric motor. In any case, it's time for you to pick up from us. After all, I am an electric motor. Therefore, we will start with it and see if there will be any problem there. And then, it is already necessary to understand if it is necessary to climb into the gearbox. Therefore, while we are currently analyzing it, well, I will continue to watch the report. We removed the oil seal here has not changed yet, it is worth the original moisture was here when we removed the sensor, appreciating weather, and it was visible condensation, so it's not surprising so. Here we have a motor, a motor in general, it can be checked for this one, for a pulse wheel, it can be checked at all. But in this case, she does not want to turn around, and there is even no backlash. That is, it's not still not a problem in the gearbox, but in the motor itself is it really so? The bearings are strongly jammed here, or the rotor itself already touches the stator, and this leads to the fact that the motor is wedged, that is in fact. We have a jammed motor, we continue to disassemble it, they removed it from the parking lot, but, even if they insisted on parking, there would be some backlash at the expense of the elevator in the teeth of this. No oh, so we continue to remove the lid, and look like we took it off wow, the distal ones have been leaking for a long time. And there's just a lot of rust here, it's like powder, so we have problems with this, that we just have a motor. Jammed in the stutter winding, at the same time, and as far as I remember. There was an error in the insulation resistance during the diagnosis, but of course we have not met this here yet, so well, we will need to pull out the stutter and look further. Yes, we had a lot of engines, but it was so jammed, but we have never had it like this. We have not yet met that motor so much that these growths are just what they do not allow to turn around. To the motor, I imagine which one was overheating when the car was in motion. And it is clear that this strong raid is stronger to this lid, and from that side, it is clean, so in principle, dry oil does not drive the motor from the gearboxes, with a salute everything is clean. It's beautiful, but due to the fact that he got antifreeze, this all happened like his savannah, and as a result, the engine jams. But the owner says that when the man heats up, everything goes fine, that is, this is more likely. In total, the porridge that has formed here, it begins to become more liquid, cost or how to call it, and motto in principle. Go cold, 
it all thickens and works as a break, as a result of which. And all this unpleasant situation was happening, and it's all visible to the curator as he is here. The overheated smell of course is quite unpleasant here, at the same time the bearings that this bearing. That this bearing was normal, and the humidity for the oil seals, that is, they flowed sharply, and a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a leak all the time, and as a result, it turns out that this is such an unpleasant. The situation in general, of course, we will also drill a drainage hole here, in order to avoid this situation, because well, these constructive miscalculations with these oil seals, they can. To pass antifreeze a little bit at a time, they are not absolutely absolute sealing, so a slight slight leakage of antifreeze is normal for her, especially in winter in the cold. Years when the oil seal was beating the backside, and if gasoline engines are diesel engines taking into account filters during combustion, people are already used to having to warm up a little bit, then there is no electric train here to warm up anything like that. The cabin is already warm, because the heat pump heats either the heating element, and do not bother much with warming up the engine, and they leave and give under the tail, and as a result, the oil seal begins to let antifreeze in general this is. Here is the situation, but now, of course, it will be necessary to ring the insulation resistance. What kind of overheating of the stitter winding has not led to damage to the lacquer coating of the wire, and has the breakdown started? According to the insulation and naturally cleaning of all this, and I hope that it will cost a slight fright rough, then by replacing the oil seal drilling the drainage hole by replacing the ceramic bearing and well, at least on the rotor. We will already coordinate the gearbox motor, it's worth it, it's not worth it in general, so far, so far. We have agreed on a standard for work on replacing steel bearings with ceramic bearings. The rotor shaft was polished and cleaned with the balls in the gearbox. The stutter winding was cleaned. The insulation resistance was measured. It turned out to be normal, and of course the unit was assembled. The motor was assembled like this. Spare parts have been changed. These are two primary shaft bearings, two rotor bearings, and three oil seals, for oil seals. Two drive oil seals inner and greasy Teflon oil seal drainage holes are also drilled so. And, even if there is a leak of antifreeze, it will flow outside everything, now, the motor can be installed in the car, and we will test and release it so we have assembled it. We assembled the engine, installed it on the car, now it starts smoothly without any signs of the engine jamming in general. This was such an interesting repair, we have never encountered this before for the first time we had this so keep in mind. An electric motor would also be able to wedge. 